Alrighty, so Burst of Destiny is cooking up some impressive support for Sioux ships. Only a couple Sioux ship cards were announced for Dawn of Majesty. I mentioned them briefly at the time, but now we have probably double the amount of cards that they did initially, so I figured we'll just do a quick walk through the archetype as a whole and take a look at the new cards and where the deck is heading as a complete archetype, if you will. Uh, starting off with Rice Sioux Ship, of course, is our level 4 normal monster, 2000 attack, 0 defense. It is an Aqua Fire. Definitely some interesting typing there. I'm sure there's some interactions that might be cute, but nothing that inherently comes to mind. I always just think it's nice when they try to branch out the typing a little bit and make attribute type combinations that are a bit different. So this seems like it might be one of the core pieces of the deck just because of what it is. Being a normal monster means you're going to draw three of it in every hand probably, but hopefully the other cards will kind of mitigate that uh, and make it a little easier to uh, utilize. So Urchin Suship is one of the new ones and it states as follows. You can target one Suship monster you control. Its level becomes four or five. Then you can add one Rice Suship from your deck to your hand. So again, that is this guy. So it can modify its own level or the level of a different Sioux ship you have, uh, and then search one, which is neat. You can reveal one other Sioux ship card in your hand, special summon this card from your hand, then apply this effect based on the revealed card. If you reveal Rice Sioux ship, you can special summon the revealed monster. So in other words, if you have this in hand and this in hand, you reveal Rice Sioux ship, you special both, and then you can use this to modify the levels. Otherwise, place the revealed card on the bottom of the deck. So it does function in a way as an extender either way, but generally you're probably not going to want to reveal something else unless there's some reason you want to put it back in the deck. I will say the art on these is really cool too, like obviously they're meant to be boats made of sushi, but it's just unique type of art we don't often see, and I like that. I like that they branched out a bit. So level 5, Fire, Aqua, nothing crazy there. Icefish Sioux Ship is one of the new ones from Burst of Destiny. If you control Rice Sioux Ship or an Xyz monster that has Rice Sioux Ship as material, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's a guaranteed extender. If you have Rice Sioux Ship out, you special this and you have a rank 4, which is nice. Also, any Xyz monster having Rice Sioux Ship allows you to special this. It doesn't just have to be a Sioux Ship Xyz, though you will probably lean in that direction depending on what these new supports do. During your main phase, you can special summon one Sioux Ship monster from your hand. Then you can take any number of Rice Sioux Ship from your deck or graveyard and place them on top of your deck in any order. So it is an extender, not terrible. They specifically avoided giving it 200 defense, it looks like. It would, so it would have been a rekindling target otherwise. Um, take any number of Rice Sioux Ship from your deck or graveyard, place them on top of the deck. So I guess getting ones in, engraved back into the deck so you can reuse them is neat, but stacking the deck with normal monsters doesn't really sound like the type of thing I would want to do. Let's see what the rest of it does. Uh, Row Sioux Ship, this is one of the ones that is not new. This was announced a while back, but it's been a while, so we're just going to read it as though it was. If you control Rice Sioux Ship, you can special this card from your hand. Nice, another extender. You can only do this once per turn. During your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, add to your hand one or special summon one excavated Rice Sioux Ship. So you use Ice Fish to stack the deck, and then you use... Um, Row Sioux Ship to Special Summon. That's neat enough, I guess. It does seem like there are ways to get rank 4s on the board pretty quick. None of them have specific restrictions on the type of Xyz you can summon, so it's neat to look at. They got four monsters, one of them being a level 5, but it can modify levels, and it does have a way to Special Summon itself. So overall, it's not a terrible start for the archetype in terms of just having some accessibility for extenders and for the play. Let's take a look at the Xyz, though. Super Dreadnought Sioux Ship Urchin Class War Dish. That's, I like that. Two level 5 monsters, once per turn during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of your Sioux Ship monsters, special summon from the extra deck, negate their effects. That's pretty good. That's really good, I think. Like, that's a quick, so that's just a generic rank 5, at the very least it can negate, oh, during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, so it's a bit, it's a bit restrictive, but it still seems solid. If this card is Xyz Summon, you can apply this effect based on the monsters used as material. If you use Rice Sioux Ship, you draw a card. If you use Urchin Sioux Ship, it can attack directly. So if you make it with those two, it gets both effects. And replacing, you know, a card that you had to use to make it is not bad. Drawing a card is good. Hard once per turn on both of those, but... Carrier Sioux Ship, Ice Fish Clash Auxiliary Dish... Uh, two level 4 monsters. While, this, while a face-up card is in a field zone, your Sioux Ship monster special spawn from the extra deck cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also, they gain attack equal to their own original defense. Alright, well, most of their defenses are useless, so I guess that's fine. It, the card effect protection is solid. I mean, they are boats made of sushi, so I guess they wouldn't be well built. 
If this card is exceed summon, you can apply these effects based on the monsters used. If you use rice, you draw a card. If you use ice fish, you add a sous ship speller trap from your deck to your hand. So this is a searcher that can technically net you a plus one if you resolve both effects. Not a bad card or a bad option to have. It does offer that protection from card effects, and it does seem like they are bringing these cards together in some way, which is solid. Uh, Dreadnought Sioux Ship Row Class First Wardish. I do believe this is the one from Dawn of Majesty. Uh, two level four monsters. Once per turn, when your Sioux Ship monster is special summoned from the extra deck, inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can target one card they control, destroy it. Ooh, that's not great. Battle damage reliant, but it's additional destruction, and you do have the other ship that can attack directly, so at least it's got that going for it. If this card is exceed summon, you can apply these effects based on the monsters used as material. If it's Rice Sioux Ship, you draw a card. If it's Row Sioux Ship, it can attack twice during each battle phase. So they all do allow you to draw a card, which is nice. It does replace and sort of makes up for having to play a normal monster. But I actually really like these, um, just on the surface. They seem like a cute rank 4 engine. Alright, Sioux Ship Roll Specials is a trap. When you activate this card, you reveal one Rice Sioux Ship in your hand, then reveal three Sioux Ship monsters from your deck. Your opponent picks one to add to your hand, shuffle the rest into the deck. So... You can pick, you know, one of each. They don't have to have a different name, so realistically, you can get whatever you want if it's early on in the game and you don't draw them. If you reveal the Rice Sioux Ship when you activate this card, you choose instead. Oh, cool. All right, so if you have the Rice Sioux Ship in your hand, you can choose, and if you don't, you can still search. It's just your opponent gets to pick, but if you pick three copies of the same card, then you get that. If this card is in your graveyard, except during the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, target three Sioux Ship monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw one card. That is not bad either. It's at least a bonus effect, but I do like this. It's a little slow being a trap, but it does work. And Sioux Ship Galley Kaizen. Field spell, once per turn, if you normal or special summon a Sioux Ship monster, you can place one Sioux Ship card from your deck on top of your deck. Your Xyz do allow you to draw, so this can get you into combo pieces that you need. It can also stack for the other effects. Once per turn, if your Sioux Ship monster is special summoned from the extra deck, I'm sorry, once per turn, if your Sioux Ship monster is special summoned from the extra deck is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, your opponent must pay life once equal to that monster's defense, which again, they're all very weak, so that's not that significant. Then you can special summon one Rice Sioux Ship from your hand, and if you do, special summon from your extra deck one Sioux Ship Xyz monster using that as material. So your opponent outs one of your ships, they gotta pay some life points, and then you can basically cheat out another Xyz. Because it counts as an Xyz summon, you can draw a card, so I see where these would stack pretty quick. Um, in terms of generating you some kind of advantage. So, I actually think these are kind of neat. I don't know that they'd be any kind of super meta-relevant archetype, but it seems like they've got some decent support cards and could work well as an engine. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. I'm intrigued to maybe try this out at some point and see what I can come up with. Uh, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, and if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe for more content, but I will see you guys in the next video.